that with each accolade he dumps on his son and with each new toy and with each new hero who swung by the house, I'm getting more and more pissed off. So, yeah, but, uh, so in Adam, other words, Adam, Adam used to come yeah. to the house. Sure. Some yeah. legendary Christmas party. So in other words, Adam, you wish that Pat O'Brien had been your father. There's still time, but yes. <laughs> yes. I, I do. It, it's one of these, you know how, I don't know how your guys, I know I know Pat, you know, grew up in a, a cabin with three walls and all yep. that good yes. stuff. We hear the story. Uh, uh, and, and I'm saying, when you hear these stories, like, it's just the simple ones, like where you go, my dad took me to opening day at Wrigley Field every single day for 31 years, you know, and then you're thinking, first you start thinking it's sweet, you know, yeah. I don't care if it was raining, I don't care, one time he was out of town, he was in Cleveland, he was doing business, he flew, he took a train, <laughs> and so he could, and you start thinking, what a hell of a guy, and then he, my brain immediately switches to, I'm going to kill my dad, <laughs> he would have never done that, what an a-hole, and then so the more these guys talk about how great that their dad is the further I slip into my dark hole of, of no, I had an hatred. alcoholic father who made oh, wait, about 60 what? bucks a week yeah but he took you well wait a second you're a father Adam so yeah. are you doing the Pat O'Brien thing no but he can kids? do the Pat O'Brien thing I can't get Shaq to come over to my house and talk to my kids <laughs> but I got Adam Carolla he'd, <laughs> he'd roll up at the front door Jimmy Kimmel back when both of them were yeah you know, you like, starting out you like the man show come on come on <laughs> <laughs> I remember I remember a party Pat used to throw uh, legendary Christmas parties and you know Jimmy Kimmel who's really the you know you think these celebrities are like um, oh you know they're drug addled and yeah, they're yeah. self entitled <laughs> oh not Jimmy we were halfway up Pat's Hill. He has a double-gated community, by the way. If you make it past, you know, make it past the first gate, yep. you will get this caught in the second one. We're going up the hill and halfway up the hill, he goes, damn, we need a bottle of wine. I said, uh, well, we'll drink his, you know, we don't need to get drunk in the car. He said, no, it's a gift. It's a gift for Pat. I said, hey, come on, it's a Christmas party. We'll just, we'll do that thing where we walk by the table where the other stuff is and pretend <laughs> that go. move, that move, that looks yeah. like, move I use at the crowded urinal when I get my penis out. So a lot of shoulder <laughs> movement, head flexing, yeah. little, little relief, shaking out the hands when go. I'm done. Woo, yeah, back's hurt, yeah. So I said, well, this guy, and he, no, 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 no. We're going down the hill. We turned back around. We went down to the Gelson's. Jimmy came out with a $100 bottle of wine. We walked up. Uh, we ran into meatloaf halfway up the driveway. Uh, he had nothing. No one else brought a thing. And as soon as we walked through the door, Pat said, what you bring that for? You know, we got plenty of booze. You didn't need to bring that. And I just looked at Jimmy. It was about 50 bucks. But, uh, yes. <laughs> well, hang on, Adam. We are, we're happy to have Adam Carolla. He's here in studio with us right now. We're going to take a quick time out. Adam's sure. got a new book out. I sure, plenty more patch stories that I want to see. We'll get all this stuff. Like we never oh, this is hear any of this stuff. stuff. Adam Carolla, man. All right, we'll be insane. right back. He's insane. He is madness, and I love that about him. Why are we all going to be chicks? Adam's going to tell us. You already are. When we come back. Yeah.